This system of worship in the world is called Typhonianism. That's why you ain't heard about it. So you got all these other people talking about the old stuff, but the real stuff you ain't heard about. It's called Typhonianism, Ophidianism, and Draconianism. You hear the word? You figure they ain't no word, but the white boy tell you your ideas are a little draconian. Well, if it's a word that don't exist, why is he using it in his doggone dictionary? And this is the cult of the dragon. The dragon is in the constellation of Draco. Mm -hmm. The cult of the, and that's the form of the great mother. Uh -huh. All the other goddesses, the great mother, take it from this one great mother. But she has a son. It's the mother and the son, and that son is Sirius, the star system Sirius, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are known as Soot. Now it's interesting, we had this Draconian and Typhonian stuff up until 1907. See, Gerald Massey, when he went into the British Museum, he translated a lot of this stuff, and you can get all this in his works. But after 1907, after he translated um, Book of the Beginning, 1881, and then Natural Genesis, uh, 1888, and then finally in 1907, he does Ancient Egypt, Light of the World. All this Typhonian stuff disappears. They lock it down, and only people who've been having have access to it is your um, is your secret societies. And they go and they go to Nubia, with a lot of this Typhonian stuff, and they cover over two hundred temples at the Aswan the Aswan Dam, Aswan Dam, mm -hmm. which had this Typhonian stuff in it, as well as they found Hebrew letters all over them temples. So it was the vested interests of the Jews. To cover it up because it would show the African origin of the Hebrew. Two hundred temples. Yes. And you know the white man don't. Yeah. You know the white man don't don't cover up nothing. Mm -hmm. Not so you know it had to be some real serious shit for him to cover up two hundred temples. And they digging in Egypt this day, and they got two hundred temples up under the Aswan Dam, up under the river. See what I'm saying? That was Typhonian stuff. Now the Typhonian stuff of the great mother and the child developed, matured, and declined even before the first monumental phase of Egypt where you, the big buildings of the, the, the dynastic e Egypt. The dynastic group came in which is your Ra worshippers and Osiris and they replaced it, the Typhonian. And they wiped it from the monuments. And Osiris takes on the attribute of Soot. And Set becomes his nemesis, or he becomes his enemy. Before, but Set is the oldest god in the world, and Typhonian's attributes before it comes the Typhon and, and, and excuse me, Osiris attributes before there was Osiris used to belong to Set. All this is in um Jeremiah's ancient Egypt Light of the World, as well as um uh, Albert Church was evolution origins of Christianity, mm -hmm. uh, evolution origins of religion. Mm -hmm. So Set is the oldest primordial deity of all time, which is the star Sirius also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Osiris becomes the star Sirius too, mm -hmm. as well as all the other Egyptian deities. So one priesthood throws takes uh, overtakes the other priesthood. So. That priesthood, Apep, is the great dragon also. Apep was replaced by Ra. So the Typhonians at this time travel up into Mesopotamia and find, find Babylon, Babylonia, Samaria, Chaldea, and on into Greece as the Etruscans. But they what were the time period we're talking about? Oh man, we're talking about um, what the Typhonians were basically your pre-dynastic time period, so it's before 3000 BC, about roughly. Um, well, Manetho says that there's 500 pharaohs in the dynastic period, which is 3000 years, and there's 800 in the uh, pre-dynastic, which was 5,000 5, years, and roughly, he said, we're talking about 8,000 years. The pre-dynastic is the Typhonian. It's the Typhonian. Pre okay. It's the pre-dynastic. Mm -hmm. So they travel up into Mesopotamia and all that, but they also, from Mesopotamia, they become the Phoenicians. The now these are still all black people right now. Ain't nothing, 
Nothing never was nothing but black. These are the Phoenicians. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the Phoenicians travel into Rome mm -hmm. because the Phoenicians becomes Eturia and Eturia becomes the Etruscans or the Troy, the Trojans. You know, the Greek went to war with the Trojans. They war. Right. That's the later day Indo-Europeans going to war with the Trojans and wiped out those Etruscans. But the Etruscans find Rome and Greece, which I showed the picture, mm -hmm. and they find Rome and Greece and establish the Greek language and the Latin language. And the first Greek mythology, Zeus and and Apollo and Hercules is a black mythology. It's just as valid. Now Greek philosophy was stolen from Egypt years later. So don't mix up the time cycle. Greek mythology is black. Greek philosophy is plagiarized Egyptian philosophy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So don't do the time cycle. When I talk about Hercules and Zeus and Apollo and Perseus, that's black. It's not later. It's the it's, it's just a it's just the Phoenicians' religion of the Typhonian stuff. Mm -hmm. So they say, well, what, what did Phoenicians, the Phoenicians are the Etruscans worship? They had the religion of the whole Olympian deities of Greece, which the later Indo-Europeans come in and wipe them out and then take their shit. The oldest system of worship in the world is called Typhonianism. That's why you ain't heard about it. So you got all these other people talking about the oldest shit, but the real stuff you ain't heard about. It's called Typhonianism.